Hi guys, it's Saturday and it's time for this week's Kids Club lesson and I'm coming here to talk with you a little bit more about what Pastor Tim was talking about in regards to church membership in his series about um, Church 101 and Church Basics. So if you guys have been listening to when Pastor Tim talks on Sundays, then you'll already kind of have a head start on this one and if not, then here's a message just for you. So. Pastor Tim has been sharing with us about church basics and where the church, how the church got started and what church 101, like basically what it means to be part of the church, the church, not necessarily our church, but it made me think this week about puzzles and jigsaw puzzles. Do you guys like to do jigsaw puzzles? Mr. Jeremy's grandparents like to do jigsaw puzzles, and so they give us puzzles all the time. And they like to do ones that are maybe 100 pieces, 500 pieces, sometimes 1,000 pieces. And sometimes they're easy, and sometimes they're hard. And I like to do puzzles, and this one is neat. It is cereal boxes, vintage cereal boxes. And there's some pieces on there that would be the same. There'd be a lot of pieces that are similar in the box. They would all have that Kellogg's on them. So sometimes that makes it really hard. I like to look at all the different shapes and sizes. Like if you just look at one piece in a puzzle, just this one piece, would you know what that puzzle was about? Just with one piece of a puzzle? No, if you look at one piece of a puzzle, you don't get the whole picture. Look at all these different shapes and sizes that they can come in. Do you ever like to do puzzles? I, when I do puzzles, I like to sort the pieces. I like to do the edges first because I, it's very important to have that foundation, like the Bible and the church gives us a foundation. But if we look at just one piece of a puzzle, we're missing the whole picture. We don't get the whole picture. The pieces are very important, but not just by themselves. They're important when they're all joined together to be one and become the total picture. So I drew a puzzle. I drew a jigsaw puzzle to help us. And this jigsaw puzzle can teach us an important lesson about the church. The church is made up of individual members. And those individual members, like pieces of a puzzle, are all different shapes and sizes and colors and personalities and talents and gifts. They're all different and they all have to work together. And Jesus himself prayed that we as a church would work together so that God, the world would see God's love in us. In John chapter 17, verses 22 to 23, Jesus said, I have given them the glory you gave me so that we may be one as we are one. I am in them and you are in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. So what Jesus is saying there is that he has shared with us the glory that God gave him so that we can be one as he and God are one. And so that we can work together as one church the way that he and God are one. And Jesus says, I am in them. He is in us as God was part of Jesus. And may we experience the perfect unity and may we experience such perfect unity and work together so that the world will know that God sent him and that he loves us as much as he loved Jesus, that God sent Jesus and that God loves us as much as he loves Jesus. That's why he wants us to work together. You and I, we are part of of that picture, that picture that Jesus wants us to love one another. He wants us to pray for one another. He wants us to help one another. He wants us to serve one another because when we are one, the world can see God's love in us. But unfortunately, sometimes it's difficult to put all the pieces of a puzzle together. Sometimes the pieces just don't want to fit. And sometimes it feels like maybe they were, they were cut wrong or maybe they're the wrong puzzle. But sometimes 
it's kind of like individual members of a church. Sometimes they have a hard time being one with each other. Because maybe they say, oh, I don't like the songs we sing here in this church. There's, they're not fast enough. They're not fun enough. Or, oh, all these songs have way too many verses. Or maybe people are saying, oh, that preacher, he preaches way too long. It goes right into the middle of the game. He preaches too long on Sunday morning. I can't sit that long. Maybe that's what sometimes people think. Or all they talk about is money. All they talk about is given to the church. Oh, if we complain and when we concentrate on complaints and things that we dislike and or even things that we really only like about certain places, guess what? We're no longer being one. We're like individual pieces of the puzzle. And the world can't see God's love in us because they're missing part of the picture. If we're complaining and not working together, then the world is missing part of the picture. If you ever find yourself thinking only about yourself and your own needs when you're in the church and you're all focused on yourself and everything about you and how, how it fits for you, then we're not being united with others in the church. And I'm not talking about Penn Hills Baptist Church. I'm talking about the church. If we're focused on how things are for me, 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 then we're not being united and we're missing the picture. Because remember that Jesus prayed that we would be one. And when we are one and we're bound together through Christ's love, then the world will see Jesus through us. And the world will see God's love through us. And he, the world will see what he did. That he sent his son to die on a cross because he loved us so much. And God wants us to be part of the puzzle. Each of us are different. We each have our own things that we bring to this puzzle. Each one of us. And God wants us to use those things to fit together to show the whole picture of his love to the world. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you sent your son to die for us. That you and your son and the Holy Spirit are one. And that you sent your son to die for us. And to show his perfect love for us. That while we were still sinners, he was willing to die so that we can share you that father he was willing to die so that we could be together with you one day in heaven and father that if we've accepted him that you have given us that gift father i ask you to help us to not focus on us but to focus on the big picture and to be our part and fit into the puzzle and work together as one father as you say if when we are one in the spirit we will know people will know who we are and when we are one and when we are showing love and when we're working together, Father, that people will see you and see your love through us. Father, we pray these things in the name of your son. Amen. There's a song that keeps coming through my head. I got to tell you guys, this is the second time I did this video today. And the first time this song wasn't in my head. But this time, the whole time I've been talking, this song was in my head. And I just think if we just want to sing together the chorus of this song, we are one in the spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that all dignity we one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love. By our love, yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. If we work together and we can put aside the complaints that we have and we can put aside the differences that we have, then we can make our puzzle fit together and people will know that we are Christians by our love and they will see the whole picture. They will see that Jesus died on the cross and loves them for who they are, where they are,
and that they are also a part of that puzzle and a part that makes the big picture, the ultimate picture that we will someday soon see when we join with God the Father in heaven and with all the saints and the faithful that have gone before us. Guys, I can't wait to see you be together in person. I miss seeing you. I love doing these videos for everyone. I miss seeing you, but I hope that we will be together soon. And remember to let people see that you are a Christian and that you are part of the church by your love. Be a piece of the puzzle. Be a piece that fits into the puzzle. Have a great week and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye.